They say that life is just a game. This is a very strange thing to say. Why is life a game that is both liberating and terrifying? So, I've had a number of dreams lately about shrinking objects. I'll be driving in a car, and then the car will crash, and then I look down, and, and the car is just like this tiny, tiny little toy spinning wheels in my hand. Very strange dream. This dream makes me think about how life is just a game, or at least that's what people say. There are these things that feel so monumentally important, but then if you look at them from the right perspective, it's just like a little toy that can break. So I'm in the process of applying to grad school, the ultimate contest in meaninglessness. There are are these institutions, these academies, and they're filled with brilliantly intelligent people, and they're all in these rooms together fighting over who's the most smartest. <laughs> it's absurd. I have to take this test with this book. Let me read you a question from this book. 20% of the sweaters in a store are white. Of the remaining sweaters, 40% are brown, and the rest are blue. If there are 200 sweaters in the store, then how many more blue sweaters than white sweaters are in the store? I have no idea. The ability to answer questions like that is supposed supposed to indicate something. Something. It's like, people like to think about things. You're watching this because, ostensibly, you like thinking about things, I should hope. There's a select subgroup of people, people called academics, who have decided that they want to spend their entire lives thinking about things. Thinking about things doesn't produce very much. It's not like you're gonna go farm some wheat. You don't get that same kind of production of physical value in the academic world. The thing that you're producing is ideas, and they're they're kinda, they're kinda worthless. Like, kinda just like, really not worth anything. But there are these institutions. They pay people to make ideas. Those people get very prestigious titles. Professor Emeritus in Philosophical Transactions, da 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 da. All of these very smart people have to justify to the world spending their lives thinking. And it means that they fight with one another a lot. Each of them is trying to, to prove that their, their lives are, are worthwhile. They're all pitted in this strange competition of thoughts. It's it's just the most bizarre game ever. It's meaningful, like it's important, they're not talking about nonsense, but at the same time it's just utter nonsense. An environment like that pushes people into the strangest kinds of contortions where they end up talking about things that nobody cares about, but they're the best person ever at talking about those things, and so they win a little prize that says best person ever. But before you can even play that game, you have to take silly little tests like this. You have to play a game so you can play the game so you can play another game. Sometimes I get excited and bump the lamp. So I'm left with this conundrum. Is this game important? Life is, is the only thing you have. It is the most meaningful, important thing you will ever do. But it's also really silly, and it doesn't make any sense. The most insidious thing about this game, in order to play it, you have to be rich and white and male. I'm two of those things. Maybe I'm the third one. I don't know. It depends on who you ask. It's so absurd. So the thing is that if life is a game, it's a game where the rules are rigged, and it's so much easier for some people to win than others. It's an unfair game. It's not just a game. Life is an unfair game. I don't know what to make of that fact. This is not a conclusive video. This is me being dismayed by the fact that the things that I have to do in my life seem utterly absurd and meaningless and yet are intensely competitive and people devote everything they are to winning. It's mind-boggling and paradoxical and unfair. That's the world. That's life. The end. Yeah. Everything and nothing are still intertwined, but that just makes it very difficult to say everything about anything.